I have with me now Mr. Arun Singh, Chairman and CEO ON GC, coming from India. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. Um, the session titled How Upstream Producers Are Decarbonizing Operations. Okay. There are two parts to it. One is that we are decarbonizing our own operation by committing to the world that we will have B scope 1 and 2 compliant by 2038, although our country net zero target is 2070. And in, in doing so, the first step we have is that we, 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 we consume a lot of our own uh, gas and to produce oil and gas. So that we are trying to switch to uh, green power and uh, so that these, uh, our own productions, the requirement is, becomes uh, green. Second one is that whatever energy we are, and the power that we are getting or the, it is for this purpose, that will make sure that it is a, it, it is a green power. So there are two things that we can do directly and the second part is what we can do with our money and the project doing capacity what we have. Uh, we have tremendous project doing capacity, uh, execution capacity and we feel that we are the right candidate for doing a massive solar, massive hydrogen and massive ammonia. So this is second part that uh, you know as upstream company we are hopeful that we will be able to do in next seven years to dovetail uh, transition as well as our national energy needs. So if not oil and gas, but it all depends on what happens to oil and gas price, what, what the economy happens. But this is something that we'll do regardless of all this. Generally people say that, you know, oil and gas price should decide what will happen to this world. If the price is low, why? No. This is a more of transition need and our transition is, need is uh, is almost at par with anybody in the world because we share the same planet. So that is the reason that we are... So to summarize you, on two sides, one, our own operation, that will be 2038, scope one, scope two, one plant, and rest in solar, hydrogen, ammonia, vandal. We want to be the biggest player in the country. Um, you know, it's one planet, one challenge, yet each country has its own uh, it will have obstacles. You should not worry about that. As long as everybody's need is different, everybody is in different uh, situation. So, e collaboration is the need. But definitely, for, uh, for you can't teach somebody charcoal to hydrogen. If somebody is in charcoal, then he'll come first to gas. But those who are already in gas, they can transit immediately to green. So, different people will transit in different point in time. But Directionally, all are same. Directions are same. COP28 is around the corner. What do you have to uh, offer? What do you have on the table to discuss on COP28? What are your expectations? So we world, we expect world to collaborate more. We it is uh, yes. in our, our, our country, we call it one arts, one family, one future. So that is something that uh, we share a common uh, uh, resource. We all have a common responsibility. India today is the most populous country in the world. India is now poised to, it is third largest consuming, uh, uh, you know, country, and petroleum consuming or energy, primary energy consuming country in the world. So we have a bigger world and we expect world and including us to collaborate as much as we can.